Hey guys, it's Mike from Arnold Tutoring with a really good grade 12 pre-cal past provincial exam in Manitoba question. So let's quickly read it. Determine which term contains 1 over x to the 6 in the binomial expansion of this mess. Um, I've written up here a formula which is actually on the formula sheet for this exam and it is the formula to find the k plus first term of the binomial expansion. If you're not too sure what that means, we're going to go through what all of these different letters mean. Um, but let's quickly see why this is a binomial expansion. Uh, there's two terms added together within the bracket and then it's raised to a power. It's important to note that this power is very significant. The number 7 there, in the expansion of this, there's going to be 7 plus 1 terms. So there's actually going to be 8 terms in the expansion of all of this. And the expansion just means you can imagine we write 7 of these brackets out in a row, multiply them all out, and we'd have this big mess of 8 different terms. But they're looking for the term where that contains 1 over x to the 6th. Now this is really important. Um, this was found on, the, on a past exam in the open response section, so it wasn't a multiple choice question, but it also was not a calculator question. So that's a bit of a clue when you're writing this exam that there isn't going to be any big calculations involved. We should be able to do this in mental math. Let's walk through this. This says that the k plus first term, so whichever term it is, uh, is found by taking the combination, so n choose, six, n, n choose k, and then the first term a raised to the power of n minus k, and the second term within the binomial raised to the power of k. Now again, this looks very messy, but let's tie this back. a is the first term in the bracket, and b is the second term in the bracket. Now this n choose k, that um, is, you know, has to do with Pascal's triangle, and it will only give you an integer value. There's no variables associated there, so we're not even going to worry about that because all we care about is our actual x term and the exponent on that x. So if we think about this, every term, every k plus first term is going to include a, which is 2 over x to the 3 to the n, n we said was 7, 7 minus k, times b, which is 3x squared, to the k. So now it's about saying, okay, yeah, every, every term is going to take on this form, and k is just going to increase, right? k is going to increase from 0 all the way to 7, because 0 would be 0 plus 1, that's our first term. So all we have to do now is actually apply our exponent rules. What happens when we have an exponent inside the bracket and an exponent outside? Well, they get multiplied. So I'm actually even going to ignore the 2 because this is going to have no impact on our uh, exponent on the x. So what's going to happen here? We're going to get x to the 3 times 7 minus k. So I'm going to think of it like this, x to the 3 times 7 minus k. And in the other term, we're going to have 3x squared. Again, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to ignore the 3. We're going to have x squared times 2 times uh, k. So that'll be x to the 2k. And that's on top, right? 3x squared is above. So if we simplify this, we get x to the 2k over x to the, multiply this through, we get x to the 21 minus 3k. Last thing to do with the exponent is... Uh, when we have an exponent on top, exponent on the bottom, and the base is the same, which they are, they're both x's, we can just subtract. So this is going to be x to the 2k minus 21 minus 3k. So now we've got it down to, this is the generic form for uh, the x part of the binomial expansion for each term. So now the question is, what do we want this mess with k to actually equal? Well, 1 over x to the 6, that's the same as x to the negative 6, the exact same thing. So I'm just going to set my exponent, 2k minus 21 plus 3k, 2k minus 21 plus 3k to equal negative 6, because that's what we want. Simplify this, we get 5k equals, uh, add the 21 over here, and we get 15 so k equals 3. Now, the very important piece, the last section, it says which term in the expansion? k equals 3 
Remember the, the formula on our formula sheet is built for the k plus first term. So we sub 3 back in there, we get 3 plus 1, so this is the fourth term. And that would be the final answer. So they always put a question like this on the provincial exam. They love to test the uh, expansion of the binomial, um, the binomials. The problem is this one's a little bit more difficult because we've got x's on the bottom and x's on the top in each term. Uh, so you have to make sure that you apply all of our exponent rules, multiplying it through, subtracting, and then setting that equal to the exponent we want. Hopefully this is clear. Uh, you can always find more videos at our YouTube channel for Arnold Tutoring or email us with questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.